As expected, Ukrainians are not happy with Russian troops. People are gathering over city administrations to show their protest. It's important to compare it with the similar events happened in 2014. This is Krasnarmysk, people gathering over the city administration as a protest against new Kyiv government. Here, Ukrainians blocking the way for Russian troops. And they have a moral right to do that. It's really a foreign country's army in your city. Again, for comparison, Mariupol of 2014. People want to block the road for military vehicles of new Kyiv government. And this is a peaceful Ukraine, as everybody know. But let's see an individual level. We'll see different opinions. Here, a woman is completely angry with Russian troops. This is, this, it's my native land. Do you understand? Good. My, my. It's your land. Take off the mask. I'm just interested to see what kind of person you are. That stands with a gun against woman. Why? Because you've no right to touch me. Who are you? We don't touch you. Who are you? Who are you? We people. Who are you? They are already shooting me. Nobody shoots you. People, you've heard shooting? They are shooting me. Nobody is shooting you. They shoot. You see? You all see. These guys shooting me. I'm located in Sitten Village. They are shooting me. You are lying. At the same time, one of Ukrainian TikTok, a girl meets Russians with flowers. This man was living near a border with the Republic's a Shastya city. For years he was separated with his grandson, who fought for the Republic's. Your grandson was in Luhansk? A company commander, yes. People were waiting LPR here? A foolish question. Of course, we've been waiting. How long you've not seen your grandson? Six years. You was forbidden from speaking? They came to me every day. Where is your grandson and other things? They were searching, you know. Shastya city again. The city has a difficult story. One time it was controlled by the separatists, but then it became a Ukrainian territory for all these eight years. 
There were rumors that people who were collaborating with the republics were killed by Ukrainian battalion Aidar after it took the city. Aid came here and start killing. It was peaceful here. And they screamed that Russia started the war. How many girls were raped? And people were buried alive. They buried people alive. Tell us what happened. Killed and buried? It's for real? We thought that people just left somewhere. But they... Lying around on dumpsters, you know. It's a lot of interviews like this. Usually it's people of the older generation. This man also mentions a shelling by Ukraine, which is another Russian propaganda, of course. I've been waiting for eight years, and it's a lot of people like me here. These fascists stuck in our craw. They prohibited us to speak Russian. All TV banned, or Russian banned. They asked us. No. They said they paid a good pension. Why Donbass rebelled? Because we've not accepted the coup. They didn't get it. Let all Ukraine would know now, what we've known here. How Luhansk and Pervomaysk was bombed. And how they bombed us on the 24th of February. And not by someone, but our freaking defenders. Defenders you mean Ukrainian military? They were shelling from all the sides. Here everything broken. From where? They shelled from old data. Shelling from there and from there. So, all these lies of American, European and Ukrainian propaganda, Goebbels, and be trusted. It would be interesting to see deeper conversation with people in the future, especially with the younger generation. And you likes will be assigned to me to do something similar in future.